What's up, you guys? Today, we're going to be covering cybersecurity domains. Um, of course, you know, there are a lot of different job titles within cybersecurity and domains that the job titles fall under. Now, this is important to you because understanding the domains helps you to decide where you want to fit in into which, um, which bucket within cybersecurity that you want to fit in, which then helps you to determine which skills that you need to develop in order to get that job title within that cybersecurity domain, right? So whether you are a, a beginner to cybersecurity or you're someone that's switching careers, this uh, map of the si different cybersecurity domains is going to help give you more clarity while you're moving along on your path. Right, so let's get into the different cybersecurity domains available. Um, now, cybersecurity, it's extremely interesting and fascinating career field, and that's probably what you, got you interested in it. Um, but as along with that, I know for me, it was overwhelming, like where to start, what to specialize in, and just all of the information was just a lot for me. So I took it in, into bites and chunks and um, just over time became more familiar with the information and just built up my skill set. So now we're, what we'll do is break this down for you in a way that hopefully makes sense and gets you started so that you can feel more confident in where you're heading. Up top, we've got security architecture, and that is the basic, the foundation of the networks and the uh, security of a computer system. And within that, we've got identity management to prove who's trying to access the system, cryptography to protect the data. We've got patch management to keep the systems uh, free from vulnerability as much as possible. Over here, we've got career development. That's where we have certifications and training, which is what you're, you should be working on now. Self-study, which is extremely important. Peer groups being involved and connected and within community. We have security operations. This is where we're constantly looking for threats and utilizing tools and systems to keep these uh, networks and, and systems safe from attack. Um, and we've got incident response for if an attack occurs, we have those trained to respond to it in a way to uh, protect the company from any further um, disadvantage from that attack. Okay, then user education, awareness, and training to keep users educated on the safety of cybersecurity. Threat intelligence, that's where we're looking for attacks um, online. We're looking in groups and communities to find out what people are talking about, what how we can uh, protect our data, from threats that are happening within the wild and um, indicators of compromise that are occurring within the systems that uh, make us aware of any tax, basically building intelligence of threats that are occurring and threats that are possibly, that will possibly occur in the future. Okay, and we've got, next we've got government, governance, and policies and procedures are uh, protecting the companies and protecting the data. Uh, got HIPAA, that's where that comes into play, and um, reporting and executive management. Enterprise risk management, uh, that's where you have the security operations center, monitoring the networks, you have auditing, and you have a uh, cyber insurance to protect the uh, customer data and um, and also keeping track of the risks. And next we have the risk assessment. That is assessing the possibility of risk 
within for the uh, data on the systems and uh, devices that sit within our network. We vulnerability scan. We always uh, scan the network for vulnerabilities to find out where we may need to patch systems and things like that. Penetration testers, that's where they come into play, uh, doing social engineering and things like that in order to try to pen penetrate a customer network. Okay, next is application security. That's where we're securing the applications and the data that sits on top of those, securing those from different types of attacks that hackers um, are trying to come up with on a daily basis. The frameworks and standards, uh, make sure that you check up on these and have an understanding of them. These, this is the standard set by these organizations for cybersecurity that we as professionals must follow. I want you to remember all these things work together like different instruments in an orchestra. They all create a, an amazing symphony of security that keeps our digital world safe. So as you're thinking about where you may fit in, consider what gets you excited. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.